Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 2 another arcade versus home port or in this this case arcade versus home port versus home ports a one of my longtime subscribers asked me the other day which is are you ever going to do any more arcade versus home ports on some of the older sega games and if you could because they love crackdown which i already covered would you do game ground which is an arcade game released by sega in 1980 88 uses one of those longer than wider, you know, vertical esque monitors. Hence, the fact that this running in main is so skinny. And when it boots up, or well, the ROM boots up, you actually see it say System 24, the hardware that it runs on, which I believe is the same as Crackdown, on its side. Now, it's kind of an arcade action y strategy game. Uh, strategy might be too strong a descriptive term, I guess, but it's definitely not a sort of run into you know in, run into the action you know gung-ho kind of commando style arcade game i think i played it once way 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 back in the day in westwood ho and it wasn't for me probably because i couldn't get my head around it anyway basically you can you play as a character and you can start at the bottom of the screen you have to move to the top of the screen you can uh, rescue characters which i believe you then gain the right to use if you die you then become a hostage and you either have to get to the end to the exit or you have to kill every single person on the screen as you can see here, before your time runs out. And you got different characters, and each character has a different weapon, which I guess is where the strategy comes in, giving you different attributes or ways to pick off enemies, etc. Like I said, you can look at it here, and it's a lot more sort of methodic and thinking, you know, sort of game, as opposed to like Akari Warriors and Commando. So, I think there's even a Master System port, but it's got kind of an interesting history on the ports, which makes sense with Sega, because they're all about making the Mega Drive experience kind of bigger and better it was ported to the mega drive in what i don't know um 1991 that's a guess i love that by the way here's your title screen please enjoy some white noise and it actually adds because there's 40 levels in the arcade game and it actually adds 10 extra levels so it, it's set in the future i don't know 2048 or something because mankind is basically a violent bastard it can't really function when it's on form of war or violence so they create these games basically they're, they're simulated combat so i don't know running man but not running man hey you know there's running men that are not running men and so stage one is, I like this, kind of mixes things up. Stage one is the Dark Ages. Uh, stage two is the Middle Ages. Um, stage three is pre-revolutionary China. Wow, that's very specific. Round four, which is on the Mega Drive only, is current day. So that's 1988 there, I guess. And then round five is the future. And here's an interesting one. Round six, the final era, which is not a great descriptive term, is on the Master System version. I like that. So they've mixed it up. So we're going to play this. We're going to play the Mega Drive version and... The other thing I want, I want to try, which is really interesting, is we're going to play the PC Engine Super CD version. Why? Because, well, uh, you always think of the Mega Drive, let's put some money in, as being, you know, way, way, way more powerful than the PC Engine. It's not until um, I was watching a few videos reminding me of the history of the PC Engine. I think it may have been Rich from Review Tech USA's um, Turbo Express review that you forget that the Mega Drive had 64 on screen colours, but the PC Engine had 4,000. So that would be a good comparison. And also, it's CD-ROM goodness. Anyway, there's the boring stuff. Let's get into it. I suck at this game. Just letting you know. Oh, look, tar music. There's your white background noise in static. So it what was it. Three simultaneous player? That's kind of impressive. So it's going to be on this version. Obviously, it's going to be skinny, skinny, skinny screen. But... I've got press fire, my bad. On the other versions, it's probably going to be full screen. So, it is definitely crack, Danny. There you go. So, right, I've got fire, and I've got long range fire. And because I had a quick go just now, um, I picked some of an actual proper projectile weapon, and, well, I guess an arrow is a projectile weapon. It's not super. There you go, look. Oh. That's what I just worked out. Dark Ages, that's why they've all got arrows! 
Yeah, so this weapon stands a chance. Basically, you know, that it, don't bring a knife to a gunfight. This is the opposite of that. I brought a gun to a knife fight. That's not to say, there you go, that's it, I've killed everyone. That's kind of a walk, walk your way into the game sort of level. It does, it does, despite being slow and steady wins the race kind of an appearance. Look, that's selecting characters. Down there, bottom left, I've just realised. Right, I want a gun again. I can't even see what they got, it's too small. Oh, I didn't want that. Yeah, it does. Oh, look! Be a proper frisky. And he just killed me. So I should become a hostage now. I'm not doing it any favours. Like I said. Oh, I just killed the person with the fucking gun gun. Yeah, you know those guns that are like gun guns? Oh my god, I'm awful at this. Thank you. I was going to say, wouldn't let me press start. Don't want, want that. Right. So anyway. Oh, look at that for a range. Right, you've got to be very specific when you're aiming. But yeah, it will, they will overpower you eventually. And this is just like early levels and stuff. I don't know how different it is on the Mega Drive or, you know, the PC Engine. Oh, I've got a long range gun. As if, you know, it's just difficult. It's, well, difficult is probably too strong a description. So it's just because I'm shies and bulls in it, isn't it? Oh, I like this gun. Oh, this gun is the future. To be fair, I could probably go back then with a cap gun, couldn't I? Or a paintball gun, and I would be their king. Oh, look at that. I don't even know what that does. But they got long range guns too. There's a big friggin' rock in front of it. Why can't I... Whew. Far diagonally. Well, I can, just I couldn't then. Oh, I've got to go all the way back. I've got to rescue myself. Does that mean once I've rescued my. That sounds really dirty. Once I've rescued myself, um, I'll go blind. See what I did there? Does that mean. I haven't lost the character anymore? Right, so what's this trying to get to the end of the... Uh, oh, there's an exit in there. I was just going to say that's how you get to the end of the screen. The end of the game by getting to the top. And I've got an absolutely bollocks weapon. But it should have some form of use. Every gun in this get gun, spear, sharp stick, rock. is in it for a purpose. I'm really not doing this any... Credits. What, what have I got here? I don't even know what I got. Why would I be outclassed by people with sticks? Right, I tell you what I don't like. Our oh, rocket launcher. The aiming is so bloody specific. And I can press that weapon and I can only fire up. Thank you. There we go. It's tr it's seriously, you look at it thinking, is it slow and yeah, dull? It's it's way harder than it looks, seriously. I granted I am way shitter than it looks. Oh, don't tell me I Yoink! Man, they must have massive quivers. Know what I mean? Right, let's just get out of here. See? Don't have to kill him. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Right. Well, there you... What, have I got to get, ev I've got to get everyone out? I'm going the long way around. That's interesting. But well, I think you get the general impression. I'm really not making it look like the most interesting of sort of games. But this game is out there, you know, when it comes to having its fans. Generally, really pretty highly regarded. Fuck nuggets. I'm going to have to kill these pricks, aren't I? Which means I'm going to have to pick a person with a weapon. Which is not that. That will actually get up there. 
I may have pushed it. I may have pushed my Scrooge. Scrooge? Why aren't they firing? No, 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 no. Oh, fuck, man, this game is harder than I thought. Anyway, let's jump to the Mega Drive version and see what the differences are. And yes, I am aware I totally sucked in this. So here we go with Game Ground on the Sega Mega Drive release in 1991. This is simultaneous to play. First things first, I just want to skip that. Uh, as you can see, the, uh, the, the static on the title screen looks absolutely awful. The resolution is obviously going to be completely different making the screen, you know, not just because of the monitor they use in the arcade, but the resolution is going to be completely different this making the screen look all kinds of different anyway. And you've got the border standing outside to, I guess, fill the screen up with useful information, which is where you select characters, which I really, 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 really like. The music will take a hit, but it's a pretty decent um, representation of the arcade. I personally like uh, the fact that the characters are bigger, but then, let's be honest, uh, the way we do emulation, because this is all running through coin up to 8 on my uh, modded Xbox, that if you were standing in front of that tits big monitor in the arcade back in the day, it wouldn't look that small, would it? But yeah, so colour will take a hit, sound will take a hit, resolution will take a hit, but, especially that screen there looks awful, uh, it's got an extra 10 levels, so let's get into it, boom. Uh, is it as difficult and frustrating as the arcade? Right, so we select a character. I'm on the left. I can actually see what weapons they got now. I'm going with the bird. Oh, great! We're going with her then. Rockets and guns, is it, I guess? Same rules apply. Uh, I don't know how accurate you see the arcade, you know, the actual progression of the levels aside of the, you know, the 10 new ones or whatever, but let's get into it. There I am, straight on the screen at the bottom. I can tell you immediately it's got that really, you know, specific sort of control feel, which is you've got to be bang on the money when you shoot them. Um, this is just a training screen then, isn't it? Yoink! Ooh! Right. Ooh! Yeah, I guess I'm missing your life. He'd be so confused right now. The gods! I have angered them! Right. Time bonus. Special bonus. Bonus total. Nothing. So, yeah, that's training. Oh, alright. Hello. There we go. We'll go with the bird again. That's pretty accurate. I quite like that. That's very accurate. Again, the resolution... To be perfectly honest, the resolution you not know, being able to do it through the arcade, and obviously the, the monitor style and size. This works for me a treat. Any more gonna come? I don't even know if there are any options on the tart screen, I can't remember. Here I am trying to love rockets like a fool when all I gotta do is shoot them. Why are you all rocket proof? Maybe I've angered their gods. You know what, this is cool, I like this. This is a really, really decent representation of the arcade game. Maybe I'm enjoying it a little bit more because I'm finding it easier. He says, and he just gets a spear in his noggin. I guess there's something to be said for don't use your favourite or the character you find the most useful straight away. Say, so this will be where the strategy comes in, wouldn't it? You know, with certain weapons for certain, you know, situations like that. I've got a spear that goes over the rock. Ooh, it's weird. As I said, it's funny because... Funny strange, not funny haha. -ha. Because you, you think, oh my god, it's so slow paced, so you know, what, what, what on earth can they do to me? But they, they do, they, they overwhelm you with simple numbers of projectile weapons. I mean, obviously, oh look, here we go. There's definitely sort of a more static screen crackdown. Ah, now I've worked out how I should have done that in the arcade. Right. The music is a really decent representation of the arcade. Oh, okay. By the way, all these sound effects I make, you get them for free. Come back in your life. Yeah, it's not, it's no walking. I'm sure there's people out there who played this from day one and loved it. Just going, you're out to me rubbish. To be fair, the last time I played it was like 1988 or 89, but there's a charm to it, but it's tense. 
Let's, uh, oh no, I'm gonna go for the exit. I really don't think I have to worry about him. Ooh. Ah, too late. You smug bastards. Were people smug in the dark ages? Do I just turn around? Nice to this very good time. Oh, I'm screwed. And also your character's got different speeds. I saw one of them, and then it turned me to stone. Time bonus, special bonus, bonus total. Round one, stage four. Oh, hello. Well, you know what? I'm really actually quite impressed with this. I mean, if I was a fan of the arcade game, it's got really frisky. I would have been well happy with this. They're not even armed, and I can't kill them. Right, well, I think you get the impression. Let's jump to the PC Engine version. Like I said, it's, it's weird. I can't put my thumb on the gameplay. It logs you in with a false sense of security and then just basically overwhelms you. So here we go with Game Ground on the PC Engine CD-ROM. I'm guessing sort of 1991, 1990, sort of same time-ish as the Mega Drive. I have no idea who actually made it, but there we go. We've got... Uh, Pretty much similar but ugly title screen as the Mega Drive version. It handles a sort of, um, you know, effects, static effects ever so slightly better. And it's a different colour palette, which, to be honest, makes sense. So let's press start. Obviously, this is going to have CD music, so this just wins, period. Right, so, uh, interesting, and it also sounds like Flash Gordon, which is absolutely amazing. Interestingly enough, it doesn't cap the screen off from side to side uh, to give you the sort of same uh, screen size uh, or resolution of the arcade, which I, I kind of like, but also at the same time, you want this to be more accurate to the arcade. We've got our characters to select there, much bigger on the, uh, the actual title screen than all the other versions, as you would expect. It's kicking this ticking down so there we go bigger sprites than mega drive look you can actually see that someone's flossing right time top left the music is absolutely fantastic different color palette than the mega drive that's to be expected but yeah i don't know better looking sprites bigger sprites they're not you know massively bigger sprites but then it fills the entire screen out which i'm not really this is your tutorial level isn't it but it actually scrolls not really a massive fan of. I mean, I kind of prefer my games, you know, back in the day on consoles to be this sort of wide. That's the dragons there, there. But if we're going to talk about how accurate it is to the arcade, then I would have preferred it to be cropped, if that makes sense. But this is much better graphics than Mega Drive. It really, really is. I think I prefer the colours ever so slightly more on the Mega Drive because they appear to be a little bit more accurate. Right. Okay. Definitely. I mean, there were you saw it. There were no uh, options for changing the difficulty. Oh, you can fire them both at the same time. Look at that. But um, it seems a little bit easier. Maybe it's just because none of them are firing at me. They're in awe of this man from the future who has two sharp sticks, whereas they only have one. <gasps> We've angered the gods again. Much bigger sprites. But again, you could say that that's kind of detrimental to how accurate it is to the arcade. Again, I'll stop saying again in a minute. If you played it in the arcade, you're standing in front of a tits big monitor, don't forget. So, ooh, it wouldn't look as small as it does on this because I'm playing it through emulation. But that's not the point. Again, you just exit or you can kill everyone. Um, this, is, this is a little bit more interesting than I thought it would be doing a comparison. Uh, obviously the arcade is the standard that everyone has to copy so that's what you know that wins outright because it's it is the arcade original this is a bit too big for me i think that's what she said that was the most awkward statement even before i worked it into a joke ever right yeah i mean it's accurate to the arcade the level design just i mean obviously we're scrolling as well though but too big that's too big i don't know anything about reviews for this version. I know that the Mega Drive uh, was generally got a pretty good. And also, you got to remember, I only ever played the arcade like once or maybe twice, and I suck at it. So that's not the best sort of, uh, you know, approach to bring to a comparison video. But it was a request. No one's running after me. My epic weapons of the future have scared... Ooh, I scared them all off. Right. So it's a I don't know, a sliders thing? Get everyone through the portal? Uh, saw you. I can't fire down! I'm in balls. Hey! No, I've got to use the other gun. 
Go on, then. I can fire over my shoulder. You can't do that in dark times. So let's get everyone into the pool. This is way, 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 way easier than both the other versions. Wow. What a difference a, uh, I was going to say a day, what a difference a system makes. <laughs> Massacre. It certainly makes it a lot easier. She's really slow. Different characters have different attributes. See, I killed everyone so I don't need to jump into the portal. I'm, I think I'm finding this the most underwhelming. It's the nicest looking. I mean, look at that. Ooh, look at that. But it's too big. too easy and it seems to not have such finicky fickle aiming I don't even know how many grenades I got yeah, they say grenades but they only say really kill one person oh look at that ooh that was my fault at least they don't all spawn back and I was the twin spear dude I'm sure they have a purpose later on and there are other weapons and characters later on I mean if you watch the title screen of this there's this bloke with all these homing missiles Okay, if I was, you know, Dark Times bloke or Medieval Times, then I probably would have shut my pants seeing that and truly thought it was my God. Sorry, he tries to hide Windy Pops. I don't think necessarily trying to kill everyone is the best route to go. And you can just do that. Let's round up. Uh, it's not a game, for, going back to the arcade original, it's not a game for everyone. I get that. It really, really isn't. It's a little bit sort of, you know, thinking man, slower, more methodical, you know, strategy and stuff like that. And I'm not, you know, the best person at it will have the best experience of it to be, you know, someone to sit here and judge it. But I'll say this, if you love the arcade machine and you want to play the most accurate version, go for the Mega Drive. The fact that it crops the screen off side to side instantly makes it more claustrophobic and feels like the arcade. Uh, you know, I don't need this level of close-up action and that much sort of scrolling, if you know what I mean. The sprites are too big. It's too easy. The music is absolutely fantastic. But, I mean, I know it's SX, and I don't know what that stands for, special edition or whatever. It, it's like a tribute band doing Game Grind, if you know what I mean. You kind of know what it is, you kind of recognise their hits and stuff, but it's just not as good as seeing the original in flesh. That's the worst analogy ever. And it's too bloody easy. I, I know I was sucking at the arcade, but this is too bloody easy. There you have it. If you like the arcade, uh, play the Mega Drive version or get the Mega Drive version. I mean, this, like I said, tribute band, all right, but it certainly does not really feel like the a true representation of the arcade gameplay, if that makes sense. It's totally got away from me, but it was a request, and I haven't done one of these arcade home port comparisons in absolutely ages, so I wanted to do it. I would love to know what you think, especially if you had any of the home ports of this back in the day, but more importantly, played the arcade machine. Thank you very much. That music is amazeful. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.